I got the recording on. Well, hello. <laughs> this is the 5th of May. Um, such a joyful day. Um, it's a joyful day for me because it's my grandson's birthday, but it's a joyful day for Father because he's drawing us all in together. And so we're just coming into his garden um, in the exchange of joy that he is drawing us into. He won't let us go until he blesses us and he won't let us go until we know we're blessed. So we might as well just dive in together, one heart, mind, soul, spirit, and we're all equal here. So whatever you get shown, please share it because it adds to the colors and the fragrance and the, the fullness of the encounter for each one of us. It's like um, we've all got different mater art materials and one of us has a pencil and another has the color red and another has the color blue. And somehow when they all mix together, we get all the colors and fragrance in the whole picture. So please, um, please feel free to exchange everything that you're seeing, sensing, tasting, smelling, touching. Um, and uh, I love you all dearly and I know that you're going to, really enjoy this time with father okay the first thing i saw <laughs> <laughs> so I saw us all in a circle just holding hands and we were just going to around um, you know just running around uh, in the circle holding hands and then we would jump up and we would be on another level and and we would jump up and then we would and then we would uh, we would come back down and then we would be just bounced up higher and then going around and round and round in a circle just just playing in father's garden
we've had a sense that so much more desire uh, in the heart of God to bring us into deeper joy and, and to experiencing this everlasting joy and the pleasures forevermore. just remembering that um, it's one of the things that we're finding that being childlike is 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 part of heaven um, is and being instead of doing is part of heaven um, so that just to encourage us that if whatever you're seeing or sensing if it's something to do with um, something like that Feel free to share it. Um, and if it isn't, feel free to share that too. I saw us um, grab a balloon. A balloon's just kind of appeared from my view. Um, or into my view, I should say. And uh, so I just, I grabbed one and um, it lifted me off the ground. So I'm just sort of floating around. That sounds like fun. <laughs> what I was seeing was this enormous big flower which I, I jumped into and it had like there were like drops of dew um with rainbow colours, but as I got onto the dew drop it was like a it like rolled up to the top of the petal and then as I sat on the dew drop it rolled all the way back down again and then rolled up to the top and rolled back down again and I was just enjoying this kind of childlike slide and then I realized the center of the flower had like a helter skelter you know like a like a stairs that go up and then when you get on the mat you come swirling all the way back down again so I was just going up and down on this helter skelter just enjoying the whole the whole joy of it like a like the you go we used to have a helter skelter on on the at the seaside uh, near my grandparents and it was just like that whole joy of Whenever I visited them in the summer, we could go on the helter skelter and just go swirling down and then up and swirling down again. And then um, I was just uh, enjoying that whole feeling of, um, of being being safe and secure and just being able to enjoy uh, life just for the joy of enjoying the joy. <laughs>
there's something about the joy of heaven that just releases um, releases from any sense of um, seriousness, if I can put it that way, um, that become that self-made, and it's like the contrariness to the man, you know, man without Christ trying to live life, where everything is so serious, and you and and you have the, you know, your your duty and your function and. And and so we were just being changed by the joy and and the fun um, of heaven. So I would just encourage everybody, you know, let let Jesus and Holy Spirit, Father, whoever else, you know, have fun with you. Um, you know, let 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 yourself, you know, um, come to. Um, be open to to the childlikeness of that relationship. It's part of deconstruct. Yes, I just want to share. Um, uh, it's wonderful. It's actually awesome. I um, didn't sleep last night, and um, in the early morning hours, I was speaking to Father and. Um, Guess what I asked him? I asked him that I truly, truly want to laugh again and be happy again. And I saw us holding hands. It's like we were skipping and hopping. And that little song came to me, Ring, Ring, Rosie. I don't know if you remember that song, <laughs> you know. And um, I felt this bubbling coming up here in me. And I'm really happy because um, yes, I'm on, I'm on the wrong, uh, on the right uh, thing now. <laughs> well, that's interesting because I was hearing the same song, the Ring a Ring of Roses, um, Pocket Full of Poses, and I was just sitting with Father saying, "Well, what's all that about?" And he was saying that in the natural, that song was about. Um, you know, people dying of the plague and they were all falling down. And actually in heaven, it's all about the frequency of heaven taking you into the joy so that you don't get sick and you don't get diseases and you, you exchange all that for joy. And um, so so that's like, well, let's, let's just play that song then. Let's sing Ring a Ring of Roses and get the fragrance of these flowers, this pollen. I was looking at the pollen and it's, the pollen that has the frequency of the fragrance and just breathe in the whole fragrance of the joy of heaven because that's that's what father has for us it's uh it's just a new song and a new a new day um i did notice that um i think kim's put something on the chat i'm just gonna have a look at that and um, she says i saw a large pool it was called the pool of joy we were all called into the pool we were splashing around the father was looking upon us with laughter so yeah so just get into the pool or get into the if get into the pollen <laughs> it may make you sneeze but it'll do you good <laughs> that is so funny that you all would have said that because when i said i saw us in that circle that was the song that came to mind and i thought oh no i can't i can't, I can't mention that that's the wrong song <laughs> so. I'm so glad that you you actually questioned that so and got a heavenly perspective on it. I got exactly the same thing, Michelle. Where I thought I can't mention this song. I was also getting ring ring a rosy, and I was thinking of it from. You see how our minds need to be deconstructed? <laughs> oh, lovely. I was thinking about when I, we were small, we, we, well, we were five children, so we visited in the East Rand, a mine dump. My, uh, our uncle lived there. And we as children jumped, ran up on that mine dump, and then we would 
jumping down and laughing and full of joy and happiness. And this is what, when, when we were talking about joy and, and happiness, that was my thought. We were, as children, now all jumping and full of joy. And I think that song that, that uh, perhaps have a negative meaning just now turned because we need to have not religion, but the relation. And that's just so important. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because when you think of that little rhyme, it was to do with the ring a ring of roses, the posy of the fragrance. They were hoping that fragrance would keep away the disease. And so in a way, they were kind of right in that the fragrance of these flowers in heaven um, holds such a, a powerful sway that it, it lifts um, the frequency of our bodies into the joy of heaven. And so... The ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of poses. Um, yeah, let's all let's all fall down in joy <laughs> and, and get up in the wonder. Yeah, and it's funny how when I saw us doing that, um, it, it, it we didn't we didn't fall down, but we bounced up higher. <laughs> oh yes, so oh, cool Lord. Because heaven has no gravity, right? Are you meaning the gravity as in you can rise up in the air, Michelle? Yeah, I was meaning you know, oh. we have, because, yeah. Because I've just seen all these angels, you know, the ones that always come when there's a lot of fun going on, the um, breaker angels, and they're laughing at you and laughing at us because gravity is definitely not allowed in heaven. Exactly. So it's like that seriousness of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, gravity. <laughs> that, that's the gravity I thought about, and I was looking up the defi the actual definition. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that could show something true about. So the restored Earth, will it have no gravity? I think it will have controlled gravity so therefore we can do with it what we will um so we can have houses that float around and don't touch the earth you know we, we can ascend and descend when we want and so gravity <laughs> will have its purpose but only with what we want it to have <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think the, sort of the gravity, uh, as in Newton's type gravity, will just have 
um, the freedom of giving us space, not the um, the weight of holding us back or down. I don't remember who I was listening to or who I read it, but somebody was talking about being able to control gravity. That that's something that we'll do in the future. And he was just speaking of, you know, this physical Earth, not necessarily new Earth, but what he was envisioning for the future. <laughs> that was Justin Abraham. Um, okay, that's yeah. that's where I heard that then. This is so funny, actually, because, you know, we think about he makes me lie down in green pastures and we're seated in heavenly places and we, we see these thrones and everything. But there's no, but, but. <laughs> but what, what actually? What actually is it, you know? It's it's governmental spheres, and yeah, the throne does exist, thrones do exist that we sit on and so on. But in a, I wonder if how yeah. I think we already sit on them. I was talking to my little grandchildren the other week, and um, one of them he's uh, he's coming up for eight and the my granddaughter is coming up for nine and they were saying about what superpowers they'd like to have and they said oh that's interesting because i was interested in what the desires of their heart were and my grandson wanted to have freedom over gravity so that he could fly and do all mm -hmm. sorts of other things and my granddaughter wanted um the ability to talk with the animals and to look after nature and I thought that's such a, a wonderful thing because it, it's within them and it just needs nurturing, you know, and, and, and encouraging in, in heaven's realms way. And, and so that is this whole thing. If, you know, if my little grandson can be thinking about that, then it's in his heart to imagine it. So therefore it's in his heart to bring it into being in some way. And so it's, it's kind of our, 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 um, responsibility maybe in the fun of it is to allow that imagination to to picture it and to bring it into into reality and so when i heard justin abraham then mention uh, that thing about gravity i thought yeah it's already in these the hearts of our children and our grandchildren and um, it's already in their dreams just like when people had in their hearts that airplanes could could exist um, and people laughed at them and said that human beings weren't meant to fly. There's something in, in this new generation that has anti-gravity boots. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the, the restoration of nature. I was just seeing these colors, but they, they look like doors. 
you know, so it looked like the color yellow was like in the shape of a door. And I saw us just like walking into it and then walking through it. And, you know, normally I would be, be thinking about, well, you know, that's, that's probably engaging the spirit of understanding. And I felt like the Lord was showing me, you know, just walk through the color. <laughs> just, just don't try to put something to it, you know. There's something about, about that, uh, something about the deconstruct of having to try and explain a thing to actually just engaging it and experiencing it that that, that was telling me. So when it was just like walk through it, it was go and experience what is it, what is its fragrance, what does it feel like when you're walking through it, the color. So that was different. I was thinking again that there's something about this deconstruct of always feeling you have to put an attachment to something to validate it, you know, um, like you have to put a script to it or you have to join the dots to validate what you're seeing or experiencing. And, and it's just like the Lord is saying, no. Does anybody else uh, want to walk through the colored doors? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I just yes. want to ask our phone when did. I don't know what we missed. Uh, I just saw, um, I'm not sure when your phone went dead, but I can say what I saw. Um, I saw these, I saw a door, it was a yellow door actually, and I just saw us walking through this door, through the color, and what normally would have gone through my mind would be, well, this is the, the spirit of understanding, and, and I'd be wanting to attach something, um, to, uh, draw the dots, you know, attach something that I've experienced in heaven, try to validate it with scripture, and the Lord was, no, just walk through the color. Feel the color, smell the color, hear the color, and enjoy the experience. And so I just was feeling again that the Lord is again deconstructing us from feeling the need that we have to put a scripture or a reference, <laughs> reference to something in heaven in order to validate it. So I just suggested if anyone to join in walking through the colored doors, they can join in. I took a walk through a purple door as you were talking. And what I experienced was 
I didn't walk through the door as if opening it. I passed through the door. In total, like I, the door was not solid and I wasn't solid. And I walked just straight through the door. And as I passed through the door, I engaged the frequency that was this absolute ethereal sounds and tones and pictures of the, and it, I just sensed it was the frequency of the actual color. And I also had no desire to actually put an idea to it. I was just enjoying it. While you were sharing that, Dimitri, I was, while you were sharing that, I also entered in and I saw when you, after you'd gone, you know, just gone into it and through it, and I just saw it, that color just splashing up into all different parts of dimensions and things like in the realms of heaven, like into a, into a flower, into a, a, a pool in different parts, just, just splashing up as though it suddenly got painted everywhere. That yellow color uh, reminded me of a of a um, sunflower uh, that you see a lot of uh, sunflowers and also uh, oranges and, and nauties. Lovely. When I walked through, um, I came out the other side and was covered in like a yellow pollen dust or something. And when I looked at everyone else, I saw that um, they were like had these beautiful yellow lights beaming from them you know they weren't overpowering but it was it was quite a sight and it's kind they were kind of moving almost like that sounds so beautiful when you said that too joel i had a sense that it was so lovely that that light was so sort of soft yeah yes exactly Okay, this is really so much fun. So I went into this green door and it just kept revolving around and around and around. So I stayed in this green and and then I saw that we were all seated in that green and we were playing musical chairs in the green in the green in the green color. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if if anybody didn't know it, they'd think we are high on something. But we are. We are. Right? 
Right. <laughs> Okay, this morning, um, when I looked up to the throne, I saw uh, green all the time. It's lovely how we get these confirmations. Well, this is really funny, but I'm going to share it anyway. So um, the next door I saw was like, um, it started looking pink and then it went into a red, but it wasn't, fa it wasn't straight up like a door that you would normally see straight up that, that I, you know, I was seeing before. It was laying flat. And, and so when I went to go into it, it bounced me back. So it, it, I pushed into it and then it bounced me back like a trampol trampoline. So you're, you're not actually going through it, you're bouncing off of it? Exactly. <laughs> that sounds like fun. You know, I was meditating on this a little, a little bit, and what was coming to me was all the things that we've learned in the earth, you know, like one plus one is two, right? And, and, and it was the door, I was bouncing back out of that door because it wasn't one plus one is two. You see what I mean? I think the things that we so many of the things that we've learned we've you know uh, we've, we've just accepted that that's what they are because we were taught it right we're taught that one plus one is two. Yes, and you don't normally bounce off the doors like trampolines. 
Right. <laughs> yeah. And and I think what we see, oh yeah, I don't need to try and explain it, do I? No. <laughs> Just keep experiencing it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I just have such a sense of just, yes, Father, we want to let go. You know, we just want to let go and let, let the deconstruct happen and, and, and let, uh, and be free to let go. I keep on hearing it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. <laughs> it That's taken on a new meaning for that song, isn't it, Elsevi? <laughs> It's, it took that to make me laugh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, I've just been um, exchanging while you've been bouncing off the door that doesn't do what you expect it to. I've been paintballing with um, angels and they've got these big packs with all these colors that just splat out and I've just been firing a few surreptitious shots at people that look too uncolorful and um, the angels are just handing them out you just so that you can splat each other with as much color and as much fragrance and as much joy as you can because they're saying that you're not half full of joy yet, that you, your capacity to receive joy is so much bigger than you think. And, um, and so they've got these <laughs> multicolored paintball guns that uh, obviously not to do harm, but they're to do what guns were really intended to do was to splat you with joy. I love that. I'm grabbing them. There you go, redefining things again, Zara. It's great.
so I saw us um, <clears throat> all of a sudden, like in many different colors, like those colors from those paint balls, whatever that was releasing the joy that we're now clothed with all those colors. So we looked like multicolored. And, and um, so then I saw us like come together again in that circle. Only we were just, we were going round, we were put, we had our heads together as we were going round. And then when we would put our heads back, then a beautiful fragrant flower would appear. <laughs> just, it was like we were creating something together out of this, out of the, the, the joy color, you know, sub, substance, whatever you would call it, that we were being, um, that we were splashing each other with. We were coming together. And then as we just lift our heads back, this, this flower, this beautiful flower just emerged, was released. Did anybody get a sense of anything more about that flower or anything else that you were sensing we were doing or, or should I say being together? No, I just wondered what type of flower it was. I got the name of the flower. It said, I, my name is eternal. And what color was it, Michelle? I thought it was multicolored with all the colors that we were, as we were just um, putting our heads up, we were releasing all those colors. So it was kind of multicolored and it kind of changed colors. It wasn't just it wasn't just all the colors together. It changed colors into them in, from one color to the next. Thank you. I wonder if we could actually have that manifest on Earth now.
Well, if it has to do with joy, I think it would be very appropriate. Yeah, that's probably it's eternal. It's probably eternal joy, right? Um, just like everlasting joy. That's what its name is, everlasting joy. So yeah, that was that was the feeling I was getting. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Can we really can we release it? I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a flower that will be in a uh, new earth, right? Can we go into together into new earth and just plant it there? Remember, we can go into the future now, right? Yep. I think we ought to. Yes, do it. What do others think? <laughs> That's the interesting thing too, because is it, do we plant it in new earth or do we plant it now into the earth and it is part of new earth forming? Both. Both? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what are others saying? Anyone else? I, I, I feel we and believe we need to plant it now. And it's a, as an eternal flower, it's going to transfer itself into the new earth and be a perpetual fragrance and light and color that will release joy on the earth now and as a perpetual thing. I agree with that. That's good. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's good. All right. So how shall we plant it? We've released it. Okay. Yeah. Well, when you start speaking of planting it, I saw myself, now those of you who don't know South Africa, when we have the wildflowers up on the west coast in spring and all the daisies and the multitude of colors, I saw myself and you guys with me, like dancing through the fields, just scattering seeds of these new flowers of joy. Mm. All right, let's agree with that. So this is the flower that we've got. This is the flower that we, we created together, right? And it, it's so beautiful because it, it didn't, it doesn't have to have a point to, it doesn't have to be defined in the sense of, it, it doesn't have to, um, as we said, what we've done is we've just, we've just embraced the experience. And so that's what its testimony is, right? And also, because it is joy and is greater joy and that and it's everlasting joy so that's the testimony of it right um it doesn't have any um burden to it whatsoever if i can put that that way so all right so are we agreeing that we're we're scattering it into the earth then yes yeah yes. All right, let's do it on the count of three, just for fun. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be called the fields of joy, boy. <laughs> oh. 
So good. So good. Thank you so much, Lord. Mm. Wow, it's just lovely to agree that we 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 haven't understood the dynamics of heaven, but we are beginning to experience it, right? And even things to do with participating in re in putting in in releasing to in releasing new earth, and um, I would say. I would say that there's those some of those that there'd be an angel assigned um, to those to those seeds um, for the establishment of it and 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 to 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 guard and care for it to produce its purpose. What would you say to that? <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Amen. Well, I think that we've we've had a wonderful time today. And I think it's just the beginning of some much greater freedom, isn't it? Someone else have something else to share before we switch the meet, the recording off. Mm. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, Father, for taking us into the deeper joy. We just ex we just agree with you for our childlikeness, for the things that you're establishing us in arrest and childlikeness, breaking us free from the things that we thought we had to believe and that bound us or held us in boxes. We agree that we, we love being freed and we submit to your way of leading us and showing us and telling us and we love it. And we thank you so much for this time. It's being establishing in us as well. Amen.